what's up everyone? It's Ashley Renee from Travel Lushers and Carl and I are in Mexico this weekend. Mexico this weekend. <laughs> for for a wedding. And we're actually getting ready to head back to Atlanta and we were just upgraded to business class. So I thought it would be fun to show you guys what business class on a short haul flight looks like. You know, everybody knows what business class looks like on a long haul flight, right? It's that section of the plane that you get really really jealous when you see when people get to like lay down and they have like their own little cubicles so I want to see what it actually looks like on a short haul flight is it even worth it to get this class on such a short flight you're about to see all right the moment of truth what does business or first class whatever look like on a short haul flight Oh, duh. Of course, the first thing we saw was how much more space you get, right? So that includes the overhead bins, the amount of leg room in front of the seats, as well as more separation between you and your neighbor. Second thing we noticed was the greater variety of snacks we got. Wait, I don't have to choose between a tiny bag of peanuts or two biscuit cookies? Sweet! Funny how a banana that I'd never think twice about in any other situation suddenly made me feel like royalty. Oh, and let's not forget about the dranky drinks. Adult beverages are included, y'all. Needless to say, I took advantage and had a fantastic buzz for the entire flight. Okay, so that's really all I got, folks. As you see, there's no need to suffer from a case of FOMO when you walk past first class. I mean, at least not on a domestic flight. Now for an international flight, that's an entirely different story for another day. All right, we just got off of the flight, and do you think first class is worth it on a short haul flight? Yes, little details matter. What were the little details that you thought mattered? Well, leg room. Yes. Gave us snacks every 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah, that happens. <laughs> Drinks, I mean, quietness, oh. you know. Um, huh? you know just little, little things you barely notice until you just stop and look around. Okay, now, if you didn't get a complimentary upgrade, is that something that you would pay for no. on a short haul? No, <laughs> said no. <laughs> <laughs> um, I definitely see the difference. Even though it wasn't that big of a difference, I mean, I know with long haul flights, you really see the difference there. But with short haul flights, I mean, you just get more leg room, you know, more snacks, you get alcohol. Like, so, there was much more water, what? Yeah. I definitely, definitely saw the difference. And depending on how much it costs next time, I might actually consider upgrading to business class or first class. Yeah. Well, it depends how cheap you are, honestly. It comes down to a few factors. Yeah. How, how much are you willing to pay? If that's nothing to you, yeah, it might might be worth it, but for a cheapo like me, I, I'll just take a complimentary upgrade. <laughs> <He is> she <laughs> well, regardless, we enjoyed our complimentary upgrade to first class on our short haul flight from Cancun, Mexico to Atlanta. And if it ever happens again, I definitely will not complain. <laughs>